Montreal police are investigating whether a brazen daytime killing was a targeted attack. The victim was the daughter-in-law of a high-profile mobster. As CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Genevieve Beauchemin reports, it could mark the first mafia hit on a woman in the city's history. The slang and all the hallmarks of a mob hit. Bullets sprayed at the victim's car in a parking lot in broad daylight. The major crimes are not on the scene to investigate. But just who the victim is could mark a new brutal chapter in the history of the Montreal underworld. I'm going to be honest with you. As a chief, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Did we cross the line? Are we, are we some, going somewhere else now? 39-year-old Claudia Iacono was shot just outside her beauty salon and spa. You guys have to come. It's from 20 to 50 percent off. A popular businesswoman, mother of two, she was also the daughter-in-law of notorious mafioso Moreno Gallo. Convicted of killing a drug dealer in the 1970s, he was once part of the inner circle of the Rizzuto clan that ruled Montreal. But Moreno is reputed to have switched allegiance to a rival gang. A decade ago, during a busy period of settling of accounts, Moreno was assassinated in Mexico in an Italian restaurant. Over the past few months, control over Montreal's underworld seems to have heated up. Police are investigating a string of arsons. And in March, a shooter attempted to kill alleged mafia leader Leonardo Rizzuto. But if Yacono was targeted because she was married to Moreno's son, because of her ties to the Gallo family, that would break a long-standing unwritten rule, the Mafia Code of Honor, to never touch the wives and children if they're not involved in the family business. If it's this what happened, it will be the first time in the history of uh, the criminal history of Quebec and in the criminal history of the Montreal Mafia. And that has many questioning whether there could be retaliation, and that has police bracing for further escalation and tensions. But police say they don't know what led to this shooting, why she may have been targeted. Their investigation is just beginning. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.